All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the morning. Wednesday night magic. We got some creamy garlic butter. We got some leaf cut spinach in the can. We got some butter. That's real butter. It's not margarine. And a pineapple mimosa, so you know he going to mix it up. He got the pan over here seasoning already. He got some rice going there. I won't lift it up because you can mess up rice if you do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Maureen, what are we doing today? What's for dinner? What you making? Uh, Some chicken. Chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. Boneless chicken thighs. Mm. Just making pieces different sizes. Have the chicken all cut up into cutlets and he's going to put it in the air fryer that is ready. Nice and hot. Ready to be loaded. And he's gonna put the chicken in the air fryer. Yeah, he has. We have used this air fryer almost to its. Oh yeah, it's definitely. We definitely to, ready to for To its a new end, one. we have wore this air fryer down. It is seasoned, baby. Now, technically, I'm not supposed to do this because it's called crowding. Mm-hmm. So, but let's care. see how this works. That's how you do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't really matter. I mean, it's me and you. Yeah. You're not preparing it for nobody but me and you. Well, no, I just have to come back and. Move it around a lot more. Oh, okay. So okay. But we'll be back. You know. Alright. He's gonna go ahead and add some jiffy mix to that now. Mm -hmm. oh, that's that's kind of the cheat code, right? Jiffy mix, you're supposed to use real cornbread, my grandma said. Oh. I'll keep my smart I like remark to myself. My grandma, my grandma said you supposed to use cornmeal and a cast iron skillet. Well, they hadn't invented Jiffy back and, then. And what is this? What what you putting? Sweet cream style cream corn, corn in? Yeah, yeah, I'm making. What kind of cornbread with corn in it? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Have y'all ever heard of cornbread with corn? So you use the cream style corn in place of the egg. Oh, I didn't realize it was in place of the egg. I don't think so. Or is it in place of the milk? It's not in place of anything. Place of the milk, not the egg. It is in place of. Have you made it before? I have not. Oh, there you go. <laughs> not the egg, milk. Sorry. Okay. Replace I think that's what you did last time. What? When you tried to make it, you replaced it with the egg instead of the mm -hmm. milk. I replaced it with milk. That it didn't come out right, and he was like, "I must have mixed up some ingredients." No, it came, I mean, it came out, it, you know, you're thinking it came out wrong in a different way. Oh, okay. As far as that's concerned, it was cool. Okay. It was definitely the, I was just talking about the amount. Or, uh, yeah. Okay. Feel like dirty enough another bowl. Well, at least you didn't stir the lead into the can. That's what I was doing. The what? You know, if you would have gotten a fork and stirred it, and the, oh, I it said is. lead, but whatever, like metal. Oh, it'd have been fine. Uh, it'd be fine with a fork. You know what I'm saying, though? Cans be having toxic chemicals in them sometimes. Nah, not anymore. Oh, okay.
Yeah, so you use the corn, cream style corn. Now, I probably should have used a better <laughs> quality cream style corn. No, that's Aldi's. Aldi's has a good quality. You know, I'm biased about my Aldi's. Oh, well, you know some of them. They got good quality. Green Giant's got a better one. <laughs> but I just noticed those weren't super creamy. Like, it was creamy, but it wasn't. Now we needed some cayenne pepper. Joking. Okay. Yeah. All right, gotta okay. That chicken. Now I gotta clean my air fryer after this because it's going to be greasy and it's gonna be about an inch of grease in this, but it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. This is exactly what I wanted it to do. Render some of that fat off. And that's what you hear says like. Okay. So the cornbread won't stick. Why we don't want it to stick? Mm -mm. Why we don't want it to stick? Make it pan easy to clean. Uh -oh. <laughs> the only reason. <laughs> it ain't enough cornbread on there to really do nothing with, but <laughs> somebody gonna have to wash this thing. So it's nothing worse than cornbread stuck to a pan when it's your dish day. It's the worst feeling in the world. I actually have trauma from that. As a kid and adult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Then we'll be baking that on 500. <laughs> <laughs> if you want it to done, be done really fast, yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to do, uh, I don't know, I got to look at the box. I think it's 350. Oh, you follow direction. Oh, my food be tasting so good. I see. Take notes, ladies. I follow the science directions. When it's got to do with temperature and time and okay. stuff like that, yeah. Okay. He got all of that out there. No. Cornbread. Sometimes I do, man. I, it just depends. Uh -huh. I mean, Jiffy cornbread mix, mix. They, they directions go. You know. Now that's gonna be good. Mm. Okay, so it's four hundred. Here you go. Cheers to being halfway done. <laughs> with our meal. Got a little mm. pineapple mimosa for the chef. Mm. Chef Radu. Now, I'm going to show y'all a trick. You know how long it takes the oven to heat up? Now, this only works on electric ovens. So, you want to go to 350, you're trying to cook in a hurry, or you're trying to meet the oven to heat up fast, what you do is put it on broil temperature. which is like almost 600 degrees, you let it heat up and then it'll heat up the temperature faster. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got that hack too. He never told me that and I've been married to him for a long time. Yeah. So consider yourselves Remember blessed. Remember that the oven is on 550 degrees. <laughs> if you got a bad habit of walking out of the kitchen and walking away or whatever, then don't do it. This is only if you stay in the kitchen the whole time and you try oh, that, to get... So that's probably... So they're not done all the way. Uh, they're probably about 75% done. I'm okay. going to finish it in the pan. Okay. But that's the goal I wanted to accomplish is getting a lot of that fat off of there. Okay. Since I'm about to put it in a butter sauce, which has its own fat. Oh, yeah. All right. So from the... Ninja is from the deep fryer or air fryer. air fryer. From the air fryer into the pan. We're going to crisp it up and complete our flavoring before he adds it to a garlic, creamy garlic butter sauce. Campbell's has, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. has this soft bag. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, I guess I can't do my famous accent, can I? <laughs> what you mean? You know my famous accent. Oh. Put them flipping chicken in a wok. Oh, okay. No, I said they're not. Oh, okay. <laughs> what you're following is right. Okay. Uh, that, that, that. So now, I cooked that in the air fryer. It's about 75% done. Um... 
and the rest is gonna cook in the pan. Most of the oil is, or well, most of the fat is rendered off. And that's just a personal preference. Man, you didn't have to put, I didn't have to put it in the air fryer. I just, that's just a personal preference. And then these Campbell's cooking sauces. This will save, if you like a beginner cook, or even an advanced cook like this thing, first of all, they taste really good. So it's and, a hamburger helper? Yeah, you know, and but it's the sauce. It's the magic, it's the secret sauce. Okay. So chicken, let's face it, it ain't but like three or four dishes. Okay. Chicken, beef, fish, and some other meat. <laughs> Lamb. Right, and that's really on the red meat section, so. Oh yeah. Right, so red meat, chicken, oh and pork, that was the other one. I'm glad we forgot about that. We don't really eat pork like that. Yeah. And which means everything that we, and we don't eat a lot of red meat. So right. which means all of our dishes, you're either going to be chicken or fish. Or if they got a sale on lamb, it'll be like that. So with these, this makes it easy to just take one of those ingredients and like make a whole nother meal. So when I go grocery shopping, I make, I already get chicken. I got the sauce. I like spinach. I don't like I don't like tomatoes, cooked tomatoes like that, so I didn't add that in, or I can add other ingredients. You know, it's personal preference. Okay. But they got ones that are for seafood, they have ones that are for beef. Or you can just use them how you want to use them. How is this any different from making the sauce yourself? No. No. Oh, Cause it'll be better from if you made the, it yourself. From the can of um Alfredo sauce or something that we it's about it's basically the same. Okay. It's basically so it's the same as adding a spaghetti sauce okay. or marinara sauce or but the flavor is a little different. Yeah, like yeah, 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 more. yeah. So like like this dish, if I would have made it on my own, I would probably have to use probably about a stick of butter. Okay. <laughs> but since there there we go. See? And so that added in all the carbs and the fat that we'll need, okay. which is why I wanted to render off that chicken. Right, because that would have been right. extra, yeah. And now, you really supposed to use fresh spinach, but, you know, I ain't gonna put that in yet. But, again, to keep fresh fruits and fruits and vegetables, you gotta keep them in the fridge and they go bad. And if I'd have bought it when I bought it, I didn't know when I was gonna cook this, so this, well, I bought the thighs two weeks ago, so the spinach would have been bad by now, so. Yeah. So I got canned spinach. But you know how good this would be if you made everything from scratch? All right, we got to check on this uh, cone bread. Well, I put it in. Oh, well, the oven is now ready. Now, so I did the very thing that I said don't do. Walk away. You walked away. So it's it's actually hotter than 350 right now. So I don't care. You live and learn, right? What would it look like? <laughs> Here it is, guys, with the canned spinach. You know, it's just canned spinach. It's nothing oh. fancy. We have to look at the pictures. However, comma, it is. Is this Del the same Monte. as the picture? I mean, they use chicken breasts. I use chicken thighs because I didn't have chicken breasts. I had chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. But they, I will. They use fresh spinach yeah. and tomatoes. Yeah. But I will say, when it comes to cooking, y'all, don't, no, man. You ain't got to follow the ingredients exactly. I know how I want stuff to taste, and I've been doing it long enough, but even if I didn't, if you ain't got fresh spinach, then use canned spinach. If that's what you got, I say go with what you got. Most of the time, I'm, I don't go buy ingredients specifically. I just be like, I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna use this. But if I ain't have fresh spinach, then this probably would have been corn, or nothing, or green beans, or whatever the case. The idea is put some vegetables in there, and it's really for presentation with the spinach. But. You know. Okay. Those are the <laughs> who, t who tips are they? Them your tips. Why? Because, <laughs> you know, you be asking questions. You be like, I don't know how to cook this and that. Be like, I know how to make hamburger helper. That's my specialty. Okay. So you bring, start making it? So bring me, yeah, okay. I do. I don't want to make that no more. I told you if I well, cook. Then. Okay. If I cook, it's going to be something new. I'm going to try new, new recipes. Mm. I'm gonna hush. I'm gonna hush it down, folks. <laughs> you don't gotta hush. No, I gotta hush. I, listen, my husband cooks for me, and that's good enough. Now, who's gonna cook for him? He is.
Because when he cooked for me, he cooked for us. And he eats well. Yeah, we love well. jasmine rice. Yeah. I cook enough to last for a few days. <laughs> cold. This is eventually going to become fried rice. Chicken fried rice. It's going to be uh, chicken fried rice. We still got the lamb to make. You can pan fry. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's look at the All bread. Right. Let's look at the cone bread. Ooh, it's perfect. <laughs> Now, I'm not really, well, this is, this is why I follow directions. I'm it's not a baker. It's perfect. You're supposed to do, uh-oh. That's jiggling. Remember, I didn't have the temperature right. Oh. Well, it is. Uh, oh, it's so oh, brown no. and perfect. I don't know. It's so brown and perfect. As a baker, oh, a little bit more. I had the temperature. Remember, I jacked I hope it, it don't fall because of that. No, it's going Okay. Oh, that still looks nice and golden. I think that's ready now. I think it is. Yes, I think that is, I think we was ahead of, yes. Cornbread ready. Okay, our chef is watching a DJ, who is that? Timberland. DJ Timberland, while he cooks, so he knows it's about to be Timberland. good. He has picked up some butter in his hand. See what he about to do with that. Put some lotion on it. Put some lotion on it. <laughs> And we gonna let it hit the side, that way it'll go down. See that? See that? Look at that right there. Get that right there. No, 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 no. On the, on the side I over see, there. I see, I see, oh, I see. You, ain't, you ain't get it right. Okay. You gotta get it down and get it. Okay, I can't burn way. my hands there. I got it. That's Look it. There we go. Oh, that's how you do that there. How you do that there? We got some rice. I'm assuming you want a corner piece? Oh, yes. Or you want a middle piece? Corner, please. I'm a middle piece guy. Unless it's a brownie. You got corn up in there? Mm-hmm. Now, tomorrow we're going to do a variation. We're going to take the leftovers and make some honey corn bread. <laughs> On the side, please. Yum, yum. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Can I kiss the cook? Oh. Thank you. Mwah. Well, another successful meal down, babe. That is delicious. We're going to bless our food. And thank you. See y'all on the next video. <laughs> this is really good. See, we empty oh. nesters. We can sit on the couch. We can sit on the couch and eat dinner together. This is delicious. This cornbread with the corn in it. I don't think I was going to like it that much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My cousin taught me that recipe. And Ta-da. Ta-da taught me that. And, and it's chicken. <laughs> Thanks, Ta-da. And the chicken. Mm hmm With that Campbell sauce. Yep. And the rice is really fluffy too. Jasmine rice for the win. Alright guys, we'll talk to you on the next video. Peace.